has publicly called for de-escalation. The same cannot be said for its proxy forces like the Hezbollah in Lebanon. So the American troops in Iraq continue to remain vulnerable to attacks. On Sunday, the Al Balad base launched rockets. The base hosts American troops, advisors, and a company that provides maintenance for the F-16 aircraft. At least four Iraqi personnel were wounded in the attack, and there are no reports of any American casualties or injuries, mostly because the U.S. airmen left. No group has so far claimed responsibility for the attack. But Lebanon's Hezbollah has warned that the U.S. or the the U.S. has more attacks if their troops continue to remain in West Asia. Hezbollah is one of the proxy groups that is backed by Iran under Soleimani. They have received what its finance. leader, Hassan Nasrallah, has warned that last week's attack on the Iraqi military bases were only the beginning. وإنما هي مسار مسار طويل يجب أن يفضي إلى إخراج الوجود من منطقته من منطقة الشرق الأوسط أو كما يصطلح عليها سماحة القائد منطقة غير